I'm going to show you how masks work in Pixlr. So you'll see a lot of tutorials on YouTube will use these ma this mask feature, but if you don't know what it actually is, it's kind of hard to do anything other than the exact thing that the tutorial shows you how to do. So um, I'm gonna show you how this mask works. So when I have my um, image, I, I'm gonna use the city uh, skyline here. So I have it in my first layer. I'm gonna come right down here and click on this add layer mask. And you can see my little city image is displaying still in my layers, but I also get this little white border. And we're gonna kind of learn about, we're gonna look at what that white border does. So if I select a brush and I'm just gonna make a big X, now I'm on my mask layer, mind you right now, and I just make a big X, you can see what's happened on my mask is there's a big green X. It's showing me what is it? So, so what's happening is I have my image of my city below, right? And then this X, that's basically everything that I want to display. That's the shape that, of what I want to display on my original layer, so the city. So whatever I draw on here, it's going to display um, behind it. Now, if I want to say I make a mistake, I can always come up here to my eraser and I can erase things and it will just erase those brush strokes. Okay. And say I, you know, made another mistake. I just switch it back over to the brush and I draw those things in. So this is, this is really applicable in a lot of different situations. And if you just watch your tutorials on YouTube, you'll see a ton of different applications here, but I'm going to just show you a really simple application real quick. So I have this sunset kind of fiery sunset background, and I'm going to add it to this image that I have. And it'll look a little goofy because, you know, the lighting isn't exactly right for a sunset image, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this uh, layer mask and I'm going to start with a new one. But uh, instead of creating the mask and then going about um, outlining what I want it to display, I'm instead going to just go ahead and select my sky. I'm using the magic wand tool here. If you're not familiar with the magic wand tool, um, you will want to, and it's actually just called the wand tool, but um, you'll want to watch some tutorials on that. Basically, I'm just trying to select everything in the sky and I know it won't be perfect, but that's okay because I can always touch it up with a brush tool or an eraser afterward. So um, I think I did okay. Once I have the sky selected, I don't want to create my mask just off of this because the way that the mask will be created is it will display the sky instead of the city below. And I want the city below to be displayed. The only reason I selected the sky is because it's a lot easier to select the sky in chunks as opposed to the mountains. So um, if I come right up here to edit and hit invert selection, it's going to switch my selection over to instead of selecting the sky, now it's selected everything but the sky that I had selected. And then I come over here and select create a mask. So now what it's done, you can see it's kind of uh, removed my sky from this picture. And if you zoom in, you can tell my selection wasn't perfect, but that's where these brush and touch ups come in. So I'm on my mask right now. I'm going to change my brush size to something a little bit more manageable for this particular project. Oh, whoops. Okay. And oh, I want to use the eraser for this part, actually. So I'm going to erase some things were displayed that I didn't want to display. So I'm going to switch it over to this and just kind of touch it up a little bit. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this because that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is that you can do this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to touch it up a little bit. If you were making this professionally or, or you know, you actually wanted it to look real nice, you may want to do a little bit more touch up. Um, some parts of the mountain were cut out so I can you know, add those back in just using my brush tool. So yeah, I can just add those back in and yeah, I think I'm good now. So now what I'm going to do is just get my fiery uh, sunset here, copy it, and then I'm going to paste it over here. And now it's created on a new layer. I'm just going to move it behind. And now I have kind of a fiery sunset and you notice it's not perfect. My edges aren't perfect. You could really touch these up with a brush. You know, if I just came in here and, oh, whoops. I'm on the wrong layer. There we go. So you could touch these up with a brush and I can't tell where the mountain is. You might want to do that. Oh yeah, there's it. There it is. So I want to use the eraser so you can touch it up afterward, but you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing here. So you can, you can create a uh, kind of a nice little uh, background or different background. There's tons of different applications you can use for this. If you just, Google how to use a mask um, You'll in Photoshop or in Pixlr, um, you'll see a lot of really cool applications. 
Hi, thanks for watching another Web Tools video and supporting our channel. After the video, if you still have a question about something we talked about, be sure to leave a comment or hit us up on our channel. And of course, if you're interested in learning how you can use your browser to its full potential, don't forget to subscribe below.